We want to show you some small mammal ear tags now. And I'm holding a little flat of ear tags that are already from the manufacturer come to us to use. They come on this little paper spindle and they're all lined up. And if I show you the numbers without the reflection, you can see that they're should mostly be in order. We've used a few of these in class, but I think most of them should be in order. And in this particular envelope, we had numbers one through 100. And this particular design, there's a blank side, and then there's a three digit number side. So there's different versions of those. These are size one, but uh, this envelope would have held four of these spindles with 25 each on it and so this is just one of those that was left in this particular envelope so they just slide off but one of the things i can, want you to see is that there's a there's a hole on one side and then there's a piercing point on the other side and that piercing point is going to go through that hole and that's going to uh, grab it's actually going to go through there through the other side of the tag and allow it to firmly close as we put this on the animal to market with an individual identification. Of course, we want to make sure we have all the proper permits to, to do this research. We've got our institutional animal care and use and all that stuff in order. We've got our state collecting permit and we've got things um, permission to, to be doing the trapping where we are. But assuming you've got all that, and assuming that you've now captured an animal, we've used these on anything from uh, paramiscus mice um, to like uh, fox squirrels here for our wildlife techniques course. So we've got one of the tags and we've got a pair of special pliers that are made to uh, apply this and a little white piece of paper here behind them just to show you keep that out there on these pliers one side has they're they're both concave on each side of the pliers this side is just straight though on the concave and you notice that this side has a little extra divot taken out on its concave section right and that is actually going to allow us, when we put that tag in there, that's going to allow that pierced point end, our little hole in the tag is going to be lined up right over that divot. And that point is going to be able to go through and then it's going to be encouraged, if we do this correctly, to wrap around and securely tighten so that the ear tag won't come off the animal. Once we get it on there, of course, we want tag retention to be high. And so here's how we're going to put this on. Um, notice I've got the end of the long side inside the divot to the point there. And if we check, maybe we can see there's that hole. And it's lined up over this little divot in that side all right and you can see that if I try as I would try to apply pressure that pierce point is going to go through and in class what I want you to do at this point is I actually want you to use a piece of paper to pretend like you've got uh, the ear Let's see if I can line this up and do it so you can see the whole thing but a piece of paper is actually um, you know, uh, it's actually very similar to the ear, the strength of the ear of the small mammals that we're putting these into. Um, they're fragile, and so we need to, to learn to be careful. So we're going to get that ear all the way down to the base of our tag, okay? Not like this. We want that ear all the way down to the base. And then we want to just slowly but smoothly squeeze until we can feel it go through the hole. Okay, it's gone through the hole, and then we want to squeeze it just a smidge more to close it. And if we look now, we can see that 
on the back side there, that point is wrapped around and locked. And it's going to keep that tag on that animal. So in, that tag is yours to take after you do this exercise. So if you want to put it on your backpack, goodness gracious, don't put it on your own ear. But you're welcome to put this tag on whatever you want to and, uh, and take that with you when you're done. Um, and try a couple of them to make sure that you've got the, the technique down. All right, so that's ear tagging and using the special pliers to apply an ear tag to a small nail.